Industry's first fully electric backhoe, the Case 580EV. I'm going to walk you through a few of the features of this machine and some of the benefits of being the first to own an electric backhoe, the 580EV. You've got Rob coming here from our Case Customer Equipment Center in Tomahawk, Wisconsin. Have you guys seen Rob before you've been up to Tomahawk? So what we're going to do today is walk you through what a typical day will look like of owning an electric backhoe loader. So it starts off like you normally would, you walk up to the machine, simply unplug it, step into the cab, and just get to work. So as she's getting situated in the cab, I know Convertis and the Ender went over some of the aspects and benefits of the machine, but I want to get a little technical with you and talk about the battery of this machine. What we have here is a maintenance-free battery. It's 1,300 pounds lithium-ion battery with 480 volts. It will typically run for an eight-hour day. If you're going to run it a little bit harder for a little bit less, or if you have more idle time, it'll, it'll run more. You can charge this thing in eight hours from a full battery drain back up to full charge. So, Rob, did you start the machine? You couldn't really hear it. Yeah. Did anyone hear it run? I didn't hear any rumblings on the engine. The engine is gone. You cannot hear it. It's great for noise reduction for utility companies and municipalities that are operating right next to homes and businesses. So why don't you raise the lower arms? I want to, I want to see this thing running. So there you go, this thing is operating. Rob is driving to the job site where you may be working right next to a house or a business. Um, later on in the afternoon, we're gonna be digging a trench, acting like we're digging up a main line and hooking up a gas service. So Rob's moving along, he's thinking about all that money he's saving because he's not gonna have to service or maintain a diesel engine anymore. There's a lot of daily maintenance checks you're gonna be doing, getting dirty, checking the oil, checking the air filter. You don't have to do that anymore. We have a bin full of parts and fluids on a rough train fork that we can go over there and take a look at all that stuff. You don't have to worry about that with the fire the EV. So Rob's made his way to the job site. He's gonna put that bucket down like he normally would. He's gonna spin the seat around into the backhoe position. Get that window open. This machine has excellent communication with the other workers on the job site. Right now, see that I don't came back down and can't even hear the machine running at all. So he's going to get the stabilizers down. Once it gets set up, we'll have to unlatch the boom. And he's going to just start digging like he normally would. So let's say there's an, oper there's an operator in the machine, he's going to be communicating with someone digging with a hand shovel. They're going to be digging a trench. They're going to say, hey, to the person with the shovel, you know, I got it dug down a little bit, why don't you go in there with the shovel, dig off the rest. You got excellent communication with here because of the noise reduction. Like I said before, it's great for urban environments, working right next to homes. So how about it? That's the 580 EV. Big thanks to Rob for being our operator. Like I said before, we're going to be doing this at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I know some of the press have places to go. Please come see me. Um, like I was mentioned before, we are selling these machines. We will take your information down. We're interested in owning them. So have a great show, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day. Great.